hello what is up my phone is on like eight percent so i'm gonna put some primer oh sorry so what we're gonna be testing out today is the fuzzy sponge that everybody's been talking about and i'm sure you've seen ads on instagram about it because that's kind of what made me buy it um it's the june juno and co microfiber velvet sponge you see it you see it the promotion that was going on when i bought it was right it was to get a dollar sponge so the sponge was a dollar and you pay for shipping and handling which was 4.95 and it came out to a grand total of 5.95 so six dollars for the sponge and it's supposed to i know my shirt is raggedy trust me it's just like whatever so what it says on the back of the sponge is if you're looking for a more natural airbrush foundation finish the juno microfiber the Juno Microfiber Velvet Sponge is your go-to made with velvet soft microfiber brussels <laughs> um, and slated edge for a controlled stippling. The Juno Microfiber Velvet Sponge, that is just a tongue twister, provides a buildable coverage fast. So. It came in this um, Ziploc bag. Comes with a little pamphlet and then the sponge itself. But a lot of people say it isn't soft, it's kind of firm, and it is firm. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, it is like fuzzy so i put on the fenty primer i'm gonna try it out with the ColourPop foundation um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put one oh i knew that i was gonna do that before what and i'm gonna kind of spread it out with this dry real techniques brush okay my regular sponge it's dirty duh i'm just gonna miss it okay, so we're gonna try this one first to see if i need to go in with my foundation or does it really like tend to use less foundation than a beauty blender now it is um i don't want to say hard but it is a uh, firm it's not really soft. So the problem that people were having is that they were saying that it just soaks up the um, foundation and <laughs> that it doesn't really um, spread it out. It just soaks it right up. Um... I mean, so far so good. Maybe because I kind of spread it out first. This is my problem area though. So I'm gonna try a little bit more foundation after I spread out this one with a regular beauty blender. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go in with a little more. I'm gonna miss my face instead of the tools this time sorry it my other phone died but what i just did was missed my face not the tools and i'm kind of spreading it out with the brush um with this sponge you are going to have to spread it out first um according to reviews in order for it not to soak up all your product now is that convenient no but it's pretty much the same thing for regular sponges. Like you don't want to just put a drop of makeup in and put your sponge right into it because it is gonna soak up more foundation before you get the opportunity to spread. Now I'm getting kind of tired because I feel like I have to 
kind of for it to like spread because it isn't the softest sponge in the world but it is not hella dirty so i don't really know how to feel about it i won't reach for it because it just i don't know it's not as flexible as this one like i feel like this one melts into my skin or whatever and then this one just is kind of really firm you know what though this might be really good during the summertime to like blot because <laughs> it's furry oh. let me try to blend out some concealer with this sponge i'm gonna miss my face on my tongue and I flipped it around so it's on the cleaner side so we can see exactly how it's going to perform. I mean, I feel like it did kind of a good job. I was really afraid to poke myself in the eye because it's... The emphasis on that. Let's see how this side does. With the regular sponge. Oh, wow. Okay. Can you see that? This side is way more brighter than that side. So, I'm guessing that it does use less, um, what the hell just happened? Oh, I think I got some off the tip of my nose. Okay. But, um, I think it really does use less product. Look at that. See how much brighter that is than over here? Even under the eye, it's way less bright than on this side, so. Okay, microfiber. Okay, Junko, I see you. I really do. See, it's going to look like that if you don't spread it out first. Because it's just phew, right in there. But maybe not. Maybe I'm talking too soon. Because I'm really pressing it in there. And um, it's kind of fainting. So, mm, let's see how this does. I think it did a good job. Now, for contour concealer in the color ganache from Sephora, I'm just gonna put three dots there and then a little bit on my nose. And we're gonna see how this sponge performs. So it doesn't really allow me to get up in there and spread that out too much, but it's not horrible. Overall, I feel like it did a good job. Um, my only complaint is that it's uh, rough, kind of, well, firm. Do I think it's a necessity? No. Is it kind of cool to have? Yeah, you know. It's a trend. It's a trend in the makeup community if you have oily skin maybe this would be really good i don't have super oily skin but if you do i feel like while doing your makeup it's going to help to control the oil because it is a fuzzy sponge so it may absorb more oil um which is good for oily skin or for like the summertime i do think that it used less foundation like it claimed only because the concealer on this side of my face that I blended it out with was way brighter than this side. If you want to try it out and you want to like, you know, save a couple of dollars, I'm going to put a um, discount code below because I applied as a brand ambassador and I got it. So, um, yeah. Until next time. Toodaloo.